We just made this springtime front porch welcome sign with two boards and a big bunny. <laughs> and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a builder to make it? A great, so do we. We do it every week. Megan knows that. Megan's one of our patrons over there on Patreon. This week, we're making a springtime front porch welcome sign. And we're gonna hop it up, jump it up to the next level, and try to make a, a rabbit look like a, he's giving it a hug from behind. Just like a, a bunny, bunny hugs. Bunny hugs, yep. <laughs> Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We actually had our supplies delivered this time. <laughs> we did. And they picked the worst ones. So all we needed was a, was a gothic picket. They gave me a chipped one. Two dog ear pickets. These aren't bad. Well, no. This one, remember? No. Yeah, that one looks like it was split. the one outside. Yeah. <laughs> and then an MDF board. Um, this is also missing a corner. <laughs> missing a corner. <laughs> and then some paints. We didn't have those delivered. We had the paints. <laughs> Step two. Now we're going to cut our little gothic picket. We're gonna make two 11 inch cuts. But this thing, look at this little guy. Look at this little guy, I picked him up. He's so cute. <laughs> he has a battery pack. I just pulled him out of my pocket. You saw it, it came right out. <laughs> I just fogged up my glasses. Favorite guy right there. Alright, take a break. Take a break. Step three. Now we're gonna glue these little pieces on our big dog eared pickets. This gothic piece only costs like a dollar forty. And these pickets here were like a dollar ninety. Yep. A little gorilla glue. A little glue goes a long way. It'll get all foamy and I'll bond it together, so don't get crazy with it. Kim. Yeah. Crazy with the glue all the time. Always getting it everywhere. Don't get crazy. Clamp them if you got them. Let's do it. happen. Yep, now we're gonna have to let this glue dry. It's we like can proceed. It says like two hours, but it really only takes like an hour. <laughs> Step four! Woo! I didn't know there was stuff in there. A little surprise inside. Now we're gonna make our vinyl stencil so that we can put it on our board. I just made it in design space. I wrote out the word hoppy and spring and Hoppy is Magnolia Sky and Spring is Times New Roman. Put them vertical, align them on the vertical and made sure they were 58 inches top to bottom. Step five. It's time to bust out our bunny out of this board right here. This chipboard. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna take it down. I'm gonna throw it underneath the X carve. I mocked up the bunny in Illustrator and exported it as an SVG. Brought it into Easel while I was in my office. Touched it up so that I could go out to the garage and just check the thickness. Made sure it was secured. Checked my bit. Did my little probing bit. Doop -a doop doo. Then I was ready to carve. Turn the spindle on. Step six. Now we're going to paint the boards with some antique aqua. Gonna really bring it out. First, we're gonna give it a quick sand. This is just a heavy grit paper. Give it a quick sand so that the stencil will stick better. These are pressure treated. You don't really have to do anything to them, but they're also rough. 
so you get some bleed so we're gonna give it a quick sand all right somebody got a little crazy with the glue like I said it gets puffy so it puffed out the sides here but it's pretty easy to get off you just chip it off we got this little tiny spatula Step seven, and now we're gonna paint our bunny. Gonna paint them all white. Since our guy is 3D, you see, he's 3D. <laughs> we gotta glue his eyes and mouth onto his face. Do you wanna show him the pieces that are painted? So here's his little mouth. And here's his eyes. And his cute little ears. Some paws. And little feet and paws. Some more paws. <laughs> Four of them. Like a rabbit has, you know. You know. All right, we're gonna gorilla glue them down, but we're gonna use a little hot glue to hold them in place for now. So we can keep moving here. All right, there we go. Do his eyes look straight? Does he look a little tipsy? Does he look like he had some of that Easter cheer? <laughs> a little leftover uh, leprechaun juice? All right, leprechaun juice. Now we're going to add some wax. He looks a little like a uh, flap. So we're going to add a little bit of this dark wax. Dark wax. Give him some dimension. Kim, do you want to say dimension? Yeah. Last video I noticed I said dimension like seven times. We almost made it a game. I'm just going to use a rag, rub it around a little bit where I think there should be shadows. Doesn't look so flat now, does he? It's got a lot of dimension. He's so cute. It's my pal. <laughs> Step eight. Now we're gonna put the stencil on the two boards. We're gonna weed it, put the transfer tape on there, and put it on the board. Stencils on. Now we paint. Well, now we do a quick coat of Mod Podge to seal the stencil so we get less bleeding. Alright, looks like it's time to paint, right? Yep. This top's on tight. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Start painting. All right. So we debated on whether to change the color of every letter or just leave them white. But I think it'd be happier if you change it for every color. I feel like you use debate really loosely. <laughs> tip when you take your stencils off you want to go against the grain if you go with the grain it'll peel the wood up you get those splinter, splinter yeah things. splinters yeah all right there's what we got don't don't look at the pea, don't look at the pea. <laughs> now, why did you make the pea yellow i just noticed that That's funny. come on step nine <laughs> try 
Now we add the accents. I can't, I can't do it. That's pretty, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, Kim. So ribbon and rabbit. It's ribbon and rabbit time. That's right. So I'm gonna got to put the ribbon on first because the hands are gonna kind of hug around the ribbon. I'm gonna use this green checkerboard ribbon, and all I'm going to do. I don't know. Is our overhead cam on? Is Loop, I think so. Loop it around from the back and then tie it with a little jute in the corner. I'm going to show a couple of those little dots. A little inch and a quarter brad. The nail, not the guy. Should I just go in? Yeah, yeah. 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 What do you think about the colors on this for spring? Ooh. Sorry. What do you think of the colors? Should I have done them in white or should I have kept them in the colors? I think the white would pop from the street. But I but... think the colors are playful. I like them. Okay. Don't second guess yourself. <laughs> you guys like this video? Hit that like button. If you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button because we do this every Friday. Until next week, maybe you can watch Kim's video. Or uh, maybe my video over here. They're both pretty good. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. <laughs>